Hello everybody and welcome back to Scrabble Mechanics Survival with me, Squidoodle! Welcome back to a new episode. Today guys, we got a very special one planned, so if you're excited, smash like. So today what we're going to be doing is building our very own aeroplane and it's going to be amazing. So I thought what I'd do, this is probably going to be the last episode in the warehouse because I now have all the bots I need. So, in the next episode, we're going to gather all this up and start building our very own base because it's about time. So, what I'm going to be doing today is building a plane. We are going to be checking out some locations to build. We are also going to be going to a new warehouse and I'm going to try to land on a roof and going through the top. Because why not? It's easy going in through the top than through the bottom. So, uh, yesterday, after we recorded our little scrap mechanic challenge video... Khan helped me out with a plain design, so thank you Khan for showing me the glitches, because this is going to use glitches. <laughs> Blame him, not me. So let's get started. So I'm going to be building it out of these wood blocks. Three is the third type of wooden blocks, they're like the most durable, and they weigh not a lot. So I've also upgraded my two thrusters uh, to the max. These took forever also guys i was working on my raft and it did work the raft but it's too expensive with fuel so they need to really switch it before i can make a proper boat but we'll see how the plane goes get out of here you little you little whippersnapper okay so what we're gonna need to do is make this as light as possible so as i say, i'm gonna use uh these blocks here we need it to sort of be symmetrical but it doesn't really matter too much because we are going to be using, uh, yeah, quite a big sort of suspension glitch, which kind of makes it so the vehicle won't tip all over. But you know what? It's in survival, so we might as well use it. I was kind of thinking to myself, well, it's a bit cheaty, but I'm not really cheating. I'm just kind of using what the game has. So I don't really care. <laughs> so we're going to need to put ourselves a bearing here, get rid of these blocks, because this is going to be how we actually turn the vehicle. So this is just... Uh, a simple, old, regular suspension turning glitch, which you pretty much is using in any sort of um, vehicle. So let's just test if this works. I want to want to do stuff like step by step to make sure it works. So yeah, yeah, that <laughs> it definitely works. We turned into a helicopter. We didn't even know. You can actually travel like this. Okay, I don't want to wreck my blocks because I don't know <laughs> if they're gonna uh, if they're gonna survive all this. We actually need to twist it the other way. So let's just quickly twist it. So right, left. Okay, good. Next part. So my idea is we want a thruster on the bottom. So actually, let me just drag this out again. Uh, this is gonna be our main like upward propulsion. So let's pop a thruster. Uh, it's gonna be off-center, which kind of sucks. I didn't really want it off-center unless we kind of build a Wait, is the biggest is the bigger chair four or three wide? I'm not sure if the bigger chair is is um, yeah, let me just see okay That's gonna be better for our design But it does does it weigh more? Okay. <laughs> I Gotta do all this. I think if I pull this out it's gonna get rid of the bearings underneath which is gonna kind of suck But we'll see. Okay. No, it doesn't um that weighs four, and that weighs five. So I guess nah, I'm gonna stick with this. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with this. I'm gonna stick with this. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna stick with this. Oh no! Look what what it's done. No. Okay. I, give me a second. Okay. So let's put our thruster on. It's not gonna be in the middle, but it should be fine. So let's pop it, possibly on the front. It looks weird, but it'll be fine. Trust me. It should be okay. And then. I haven't really tested how much these weigh, but we kind of do need to get ourselves some kind of fuel tank as well in there, uh, just because it's going to be quite heavy. So, yeah, that looks looking okay so far. <laughs> so I've put the, the can on its side. <laughs> this is such an ugly design. It doesn't even stand up straight. Oh, that's going to be a painful landing, actually, isn't it? That's going to be such a painful landing. Hang on, I'm going to redesign this. Okay, so that's how we're looking so far. Doesn't look too bad. It's got a little bit of extra weight on it, but I'm not too fussed. It should be fine. Uh, I can probably make this look a little bit better, but this is prototype one. Okay, this is the first prototype. So the, probably the next thing and the most important thing we need to actually do is we need to do the glitch. So let's just crack on with this. So I hope I kind of get this right. And we need to do it like that. We need to bring this up. We need to put that down. We need to put one here. And here we need to put this on this. And then bring it back up again. And then get our weld tool out. And weld. 
Weld that together. And then it should work. There we go. You see, it's not falling over. So that's the glitch that's going to keep it stable. So all we need to do now is weld this bad boy. Oh, wait a minute. I need this to weld. So I'm going to have to maybe move this. Can we weld this to it? Oh, there we go. So now it doesn't tipple over. And we are thirsty. Okay, let's get the fuel. And uh, it's coming night time. So we'll just have one quick little tester. Uh, and then we'll probably set off in the morning. But that's the Mark 1 design of Squiddy's Amazing Flyer. Uh, I've gathered a load of fuel just for this occasion. So we're going to go and, yeah, see if, see if it works. See how much fuel it actually uh, can hold as well. So let's go. I've never used these gas canisters before either. So... Do we just like link it up? Oh, we do. Okay, that's quite smart. So we need this one on this and then we need a button. We'll put this on the top, on the side, on the side. We'll put it on the side uh, and this is going to be to go up. And then we'll put it on two from the top and we'll see what happens. Here we go. <laughs> so let's go up. Okay, this needs to be on the base, doesn't it? Okay. Okay, one, one minute, guys. That used two fuel already? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I knew this was going to be expensive for fuel, but I didn't kind of guess how expensive. So, this is going to be a short drive, I'm guessing. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, it's, so, it's so heavy. It's so heavy. Let's put it on max. Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> no! Crash. No, please crash. Please crash. <laughs> oh, no. Please. <laughs> oh, God. Please crash for the love of God. Oh, he's crashing. Please stop. Oh, God. I need to get to it quick. Oh, no. Okay, my lift. My lift. Please get my lift out. Oh, God. Please don't burn through all the fuel. I can hear it. Where did it go? It's in the water. Oh! <laughs> okay, stop, stop, stop. Stop! Oh my god, that went through so much fuel, guys. Is it good now? Is it gonna take... I'm gonna... Okay, it's, it's gonna be fine. Okay, take two. Kind of need... Oh, God, please don't break it. It'll be fine. Okay, I'm going to work on some balancing stuff overnight, and then I'll, I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> oh, my God, I just lost my fuel container. What? What? It just vanished. Did you, did you see that? I placed it down, and it literally just vanished. Oh, my goodness. Okay, great. I've just lost my fuel container. Well, I guess we're not using that anymore. Oh my god, I've just lost my fruster as well. What is happening? I've just lost all... I need to re-log. Hold up. Yeah, I've lost my fruster now. So it seems like any time I put anything near... This. Is it because it's not welded together? Is, is this going to disappear? No? If I put another thruster down, will it disappear? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna have to load an old save file, but I'll be right back. All right, uh, this is why I back up my game. <laughs> okay. All right, let's try again. So I'm gonna do it without the tank this time. Let's just see what this is like. <laughs> All right, here we go. They're on max. Woo! Okay, my steering for the right hand side is not working, but I could, I could steer left. I think I've broken the right steering though. My right steering is not working at all. <laughs> all right, let's fix this and go for another flight. How much fuel did I use then? Not too much actually. Okay, that's that's, that's pretty good. All right, I fixed the left and right. I don't know what was happening, but uh, let's try again. So let's go. Oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> Whee! Yeah. 
So everything's a little bit off center, which is why I'm like, you know, I'm I'm kind of going sort of like up. That's the problem. You see how it's like pushing me back? So this thruster needs to be a little bit more in the middle, but yeah, we'll move that around now. We'll make some adjust adjustments and then if this works, then we can actually start going to the warehouse because <laughs> it's pretty good. We haven't gone through that much fuel. So I'm going to take the fuel out because we don't want, you know, what was happening last time to happen because that was a little bit crazy. Okay, this is a little better. I've changed it to the middle just because uh, it's still leaning back a little bit. So we could... Oh, I don't know. This guy's a wreck stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, we could do with probably another one of these stabilization like glitches. Uh, oops. On it. But I don't have any more stabilizers. I wonder if I can find some laying around somewhere. Hold up. I mean, it's not bad though for our first little tester. Look at us go. Obviously, you're just going to need more on, but I mean, we can fly about. We can kind of control where we're going. It's, it's pretty good. I like it, actually. I'm quite... I'm a fan. The fuel consumption is pretty heavy. We knew that was going to happen, but hopefully if we should have enough to actually get to this warehouse, then I'm going to be happy. So we'll see, we'll see how this goes. So I need this oil for the suspension, but let's be honest, we're going to need it for fuel as well. So I'll, uh, I'll just carry on collecting a few little more bits. And uh, then I'll head back. We'll do the, the second suspension glitch. Because apparently the more you do, the more sort of less likely it is to kind of lean and stuff like that. Even with like thrusters. Obviously, I could really work on the balancing of the whole thing. But today, I it's not about that. I really just want to uh, go and try to land on top of a warehouse. And see if we can get in the top way. And if we can, we'll just go steal all the loot. Because the loot's on like the top floor, I think. I can't remember if it's on the third floor or the top floor. But that's where like the, the proper loot room is. So... We could easily do that and then just get out of there. But yeah, I think uh, once I kind of get some more loot, I could probably do it now, but I kind of need to, um, I could get more thrusters for this thing. You know, we could have four underneath and then like two propulsion. But for now, it's a two thruster little little plane. It's, it sort of does the job. Well, we'll find out if it does the job uh, once we get back. But I kind of like it. It's nice. It's a little bit too guzzly, but as I said, it's only because... Uh, we only have two of them. I really want to make it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing as well and make it look like a plane. But like you guys know, the, the heavier this thing is, the the more fuel it's going to take and so on and so forth. Like I'd love to put a chest on it, but that's not going to be possible. So we're just going to have to just put up with what we've got and uh, yeah, just use our inventory. Okay, so one suspension, two suspension, and then the rest we will pop into lovely fuel. <laughs> Okay, second one done. Uh, where do we put it? Maybe on the front? I might put it on the front. So if I grab you... So this one's like on the left. If we put this like... Is that going to mess with the balance? I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to mess with this again, aren't I? And you, it's still... Still pretty flat. <laughs> this should be a lot better now. Okay, I thought my game crashed then. Yes! I got to play, baby! We got a working plane! Look at us go! <laughs> yes, this is epic! Okay. Plane done. Like, it's, if it leans after a while, you can kind of pop it back and it'll just reset it. So, what I need now is definitely more fuel. So, let's pick all this up. Let's sort our inventory out. Let's grab all this. Very, very nice. Let's go grab all this fuel. <laughs> A ridiculous amount of fuel right now, but we do need it. Okay, let's clear our inventory because we don't need any of this. I'm still trying to keep my chests in some sort of, um, you know, you know, niceness here because there's things everywhere. And since we're going to be moving to our base soon, I kind of want to keep it nice. I'll keep the glow sticks. Okay, so we need some spuds. Nice, we need ourselves some food. So let's grab ourselves some food because, yeah, we know what it's like in there. It gets a little bit, you know, a little bit hectic. So we'll pop this there. We've got our lift, got our spud gun. We don't need the seeds. I just I don't even need the glow sticks. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave them behind. Okay, so once it becomes morning, let's go out and, uh, yeah, let's go do this thing. Now, should we spray this? We'll give it a, we'll give it a little bit of a paint job while we wait. I'm yet to make the paint tool, so let's do that. Actually, 
Uh, what is it? Uh, we need metal, we need glass, and we need component kits. So, uh, metal, glass, and component kits. And let's get the paint as well. So, let's go grab the rest of this fuel. I, I forgot actually made more fuel, but we'll take it. So yeah, what should we call our first little flying machine, guys? Leave some comments down below uh, what we should actually name this thing. Um, I don't really know, to be honest. I'll leave it up to you guys. So we should have paint in here as well. We should have a backlog of paint. There it is, 50. Oh my goodness, okay. We got loads of paint. Ooh, one thing that I nearly forgot was the key card. Yeah, that would have been a fail. Okay, let's bring the key card as well. Uh, let's pop all these blocks back. Oh, look at this little menu. This is so sick. Okay, so like, we'll do the first as like a red, maybe? Yeah. Um, red and blue. There we go. It's a little bit of a two-tone color. I don't think I've missed any blocks, have I? No, no, that looks fine. Okay, awesome. Right, let's put the paint tool back. Not going to need that unless I'm going to spray it in some of the little um, tape bots faces. Oh, the only problem is I don't have a bed. Like, if I die, I'm going to be spawned back here. So maybe I should put a bed uh, on the roof. Okay, let's steal this bed. I'm going to take this bed with me. And then, yeah. Can we paint the bed, I wonder? Wait, can we paint the bots? I haven't tried to paint the bots yet. Should we try to paint the bots? Okay, let's paint you blue. Oh, we can! Ah, oh, that's sick! <gasps> paint the bed as well! I don't waste the paint here, but I don't care. I want a red bed. Or a blue bed. Let's go for, like, a nice... I got a light blue bed. Oh! Oh, I love the customization. What about the chest? Ah, oh, the chest! Yeah, we can paint everything! What about you? Oh, we can't... Oh, we can't paint you. I'm sorry, buddy. He's like, thank God. <laughs> hey. Ah, this one's nice. This one's a little bit more subtle. <clears throat> nice. Okay, I'll stop painting everything now. So, while we wait for daytime, the warehouse that I'm thinking of is this way. So, we've done that one. Uh, the nearest next one is this way. So, we go past the packing station. We turn right. And we keep going that way. And I think that's the next closest one to us. I'm not sure, but I think that's the next one closest to us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are clear for takeoff. It is going to be a, hopefully a short flight <laughs> that goes smoothly, but we'll find out soon enough. Okay, guys, let's go. Let's get in the Mark 1. And let's go for takeoff. Woo! Yes, let's go, guys. Okay. Okay, it is... We are going up. But it's fine. It's fine. Look at how far we've gone. Okay, I'm gonna land and resort this position out. So this is all about weight. Because I haven't really fine-tuned it, but you know what? I'm okay with that so far. Alright, here we go again. So... It's up here somewhere. That's the second packing station. Oh, don't crash. Game, please. Where's the warehouse? Oh, I think we're coming up to here. Oh, okay. We like going up in the air now, so we need to land. So that, the weight is definitely something that I need to kind of fix. The problem is, might just put a little more weight on the front. But do, do these actually weigh anything, these gasoline? I think they do. It's all about fine tuning. You can see it's like leaning backwards, so. Probably should have fixed it before we set off, but it is what it is. We're nearly there now. We've got there in record time. How much fuel have we actually used? We've got 11 left. That's pretty good, you know. Can we go across the water like this? Oh! Okay, we're off on the roof, guys. We're going on the roof. <laughs> oh, God, don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. It's not crashed. <gasps> Let's go. Look at this. Obviously, you can't really look at this yet, because look at the frame rate, but... You know what I mean? Look at this! Woo! <laughs> oh my god! That is the best thing I've ever built in Scrap Mechanics. Look at us go! So now we just walk up and like, yo, let me in. Coming in on the roof. There you go. Let me in, buddy. Alright, before we forget... We forgot the bed. We forgot the bed! No, we forgot. How did we forget the bed? Wait, can we even get in this way? Hello? <coughs> okay. 
Maybe we can't get in this way. Look. It's opened it up. But there's nothing coming up. What? That is so strange. Huh. Okay. So, for anyone wondering, you cannot actually get in via the roof. The key card says yes, but this says no. I don't actually too feel too bad about not having a bed. So, while we're up here, we might as well loot. Like, I want to make myself a base. Uh, I feel like oh, we could take these. Oh, we could take the ramps. Oh, this would be really cool for, like, a roof. Can we stack them? No. Okay. Oh, my goodness. This is amazing. What else can we take up here? We could probably take these girders as well. Yeah, we can. They might be quite good for, like, the base. Chest up here. We didn't see that before. <gasps> what are these things here? Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Generate a coil segment. Oh, that, that's going to look pretty good if we, if we could do that on, like, the outside of the base. You could do, like, some blocks and then have, like, a round base. I like this. There's so much stuff here we can actually take now. So, what I'm kind of thinking is we go and get ourselves... Oh, God. Oh, no. It's my, it's my vehicle. It looks like one of the red bots. <laughs> oh, I'm such an idiot. I was like, oh, no, that scared me. That actually scared me. So, yeah, there's nothing really up here. Apparently, there's supposed to be something that comes out of these doors, but you know, they've probably not even got it in the game yet. But we can use some of these blocks. These are rusted metals. There are only two durability there, so I guess they'd be kind of crap. What are these? Are these any good durability? These are pretty good durability. So we could use these for our base, which I kind of like. So far, we've got the ramps that are amazing durability. We've got ourselves the... These things are good durability. What are these? Are these proper metal? <gasps> these are proper metal blocks, guys. What? That's insane. As if I missed that. So we could take all of these. This is... This is just amazing for crafting. We don't even have to farm metal anymore. We could just scavenge. 135 metal. Oh, that is a lot. We could... Let's just go for another flight. Should we go for another flight and get on the roof and just steal the other metal? I feel like that's going to be a good shout, you know? Just going around stealing this metal. Because these two generators are, like, full of it. 256 metal. <gasps> oh, we got more as well. What? Okay, let's get rid of this then so far. Let's pop this down. We'll keep the ramps. And I will kind of want to keep the generator. So, I'm going to go... Let's go for a flight back home, like completely empty our inventory because we don't need any else. We don't need any of this stuff, to be honest. Like, we just need the fuel and a few spuds, but we don't need all of them. Can we take these, I wonder? Because this is not, this is part of it, so we can't take any of this stuff. So, it's good to know, though. That's, that's pretty good to know. What I might do is put some of these blocks on the front, so at least my vehicle is weighted. Okay, there's nothing else to lose, so let's see how much we got left. We've got nine, so let's spin this bad boy around. And uh, let's take off. <laughs> let's go back home. Oh my goodness! See you later. See you later. Oh, this is a this is the best thing I've built. Hundred percent, without a doubt, best thing. It'd probably help if I just put my thruster a little bit higher. I reckon. I reckon if we put it halfway, I reckon if we put it on the suspension block, I reckon it'd make a, a hell of a lot of difference. So. Maybe we should do that when we get home, but it's taken us, like, no time at all. This is the packing station here. And we've done it on relatively a small amount of fuel, which I'm very happy about, actually. Okay, I've just moved the thruster to see if it'll help. Uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, that is tons better. Look, we're flying straight now. <laughs> oh, yes, look at us go. Yes, this is legit. I, I don't know if you can tell, guys, but I'm pretty happy about this. And crash landed. Okay, so let's go and grab ourselves. Well, let's put some of these spuds back for now. Let's put all this crap away. Don't need any of this. I'm gonna try and grab a big chest and uh, we'll put the big chest on our little uh, contraption and see how well it does. Okay, so I know I was on about sorting everything out in here. Well, I know I was on about keeping it all nice, but. Because we need to get going, I'm just going to throw everything in. And then I'll sort it after the video. I even feel like all this fuel's a bit overkill. Because we're not really using that much. But anyway, let's grab the chest. Let's take it with us. And then let's go to the next destination, which is that way. That is a warehouse that we've previously done. But I think I've missed the stuff on the roof. So let's just go. <laughs> Whee! 
<laughs> oh, here it is, yeah. This one's a lot closer. How many guys? I'm just coming just to steal some loot. Don't worry about me. Oh god. Oh god, the lag. Oh god, the lag. Oh, please sort yourself out. Hey, here we go. Nicely done. Okay, so he is the second lot. This is I can't believe I missed this last time. Just taking all the metal. Don't worry about me. Now, I'm going to come back for some of this stuff later on. Because we don't really need it all now. I could kind of do with the metal blocks just because they're going to be uh, super useful. But, yeah, we can, we can come back and harvest this later on. Now, what's this thing going to be like with a chest underneath it, do you think, guys? A lot heavier. That's what it's going to be. It gets rid of the color of the chest when you pick it up. That's interesting. Okay, let's just pop all the fuel in here then. If this is going to be too heavy, then... Yeah, that's not really worth it. Okay, I'm going to keep it in my inventory. Take the chest. The chest is just too heavy, I reckon. So, let's do some digging around. Let's see what these are made of. So, these are concrete blocks. So, that's pretty good. Have I missed these as well on the last one? Oh, I'm such an idiot. I'm just missing all the blocks. I wonder how many layers of this stuff it is. Okay. Okay, so these are blocks. It's just the outside. But again, metal all the way around and concrete is going to be great for the base. This is what I wanted to do. I didn't, I didn't really want to do any sort of like, um, you know, main sort of digging around for stone and stuff like that. I just wanted to steal all the materials from my base. So this has worked out pretty nice, actually. Definitely going to steal some of these ramps so I can uh, use them. I can use them for the base. All right, well, that's done. I don't think I've missed anything else. None of this is harvestable. I'm just trying to like scrap everything I can. Oh, wait, what's this stuff? Is this metal as well? 97, 98, oh my goodness, this is metal as well. And these are all metal pipes, aren't they? <gasps> yes! Oh, brilliant. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Completely wrecking the radio tower. But it's worth it. Is that the only one? Oh, that's a shame. Shame there isn't more like that. But look at the hall. Oh, so good. So this one doesn't work either. Even though we've been to the top floor of this one, it's locked us out. Huh, that's interesting. Anyway, it's getting late, so we better make our way back to our base. But that, guys, has been my little plane. And might I say, it's probably one of the best things I've built in Scrap Mechanics because it works so freaking well. And I don't know which way I'm going. I think it's this way. I don't really want to get lost. Where's that scrap sign? I've lost my bearings. Hey, stay away from my plane. Okay, I'm lost. I'd probably better wait till morning. Right, who am I kidding? I want to play on my plane. <laughs> Let's find her. If I follow the road, we can't go that far wrong. Oh, there we go. We found it. Woo! Let's go. Let's go, gamers. Flying inside as well. All right. Well, guys, that has been... A good old looty episode. We, we've looted a little bit, not as much as I wanted to do. I kind of wanted to go in the warehouse itself, but my main goal for this episode was to build myself a decent plane. And why want this place? We've got a lot more to craft. I'm still going to work out what we're going to build it out of. Uh, I've got quite a lot of these blocks. We might just do like a two-turn base, but we'll kind of see. But we're definitely going to get started in the next episode. I kind of want to make myself some kind of like hangar doors that like pull open at the top so we can fly in with our plane. That's going to be amazing. If you have any ideas, please leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!